and welcome to another episode of Infoscope. I'm your host, Hannah Kim. We had a variety of news over the week, and I want to bring you some of the most important stories from the IT and science worlds. Korea announced that it will launch a probe to the moon in 2020, marking Korea's first Luna expedition. Let's hear more on Briefing Scope. One time you sprain your ankle can have lifelong effects. Experiments show that mice that have injured one of their ankles had lower activity levels. Chances are high that humans show the same pattern. Be sure not to take ankle sprains lightly. In 2020, Korea will attempt to become the fourth nation in the world to land a probe on the moon. This will be the beginning of Korea's space exploration and Korea's promotion of its space technology to the world. New research has come out that eating a lot of duck or rice cake instead of bread will reduce chances of getting colon cancer. Frequent bread eaters and frequent duck eaters were compared with people who didn't eat either, and results show that bread eaters were 2.26 times more likely to get colon cancer, while duck eaters were 0.35 times more likely, both compared to people who didn't eat either. You could say that eating duck actually reduces the chance of getting colon cancer. Korean researchers have succeeded in understanding the mechanisms of a hormone called abscisic acid which is involved in the germination of plants and is transmitted to the seed embryo. The research team hopes that this study will prevent premature germination and increase the quality of plants. Just one slip can affect your body for the rest of your life, so always be careful. And another thing you must always be careful about. Security, especially when you are away from your house on vacation for some time. But recently, a new home security platform utilizing information and communications technology has been released. Let's find out more about this and more on Industry Inside. A stranger is loitering in front of the front door. Shortly after, a photograph of this person is transmitted to the homeowner's mobile phone. Even when no one is home, visitors can talk to the homeowner just by pressing the doorbell. This device attached next to the door can perform facial recognition. The recognition sensor looks for 40,000 facial traits to identify whether the person is the homeowner or not. It can recognize the face in the dark and even see through glasses. Looks like we can trust the latest in IT to protect our homes. Have you thought about having internet speeds 10 times faster than what you have today? Then go to a center in Sangamdong, Seoul, that allows you to experience a next-generation gigabit network. Upon selecting a song, the music video instantly pops up on screen. Gigabit internet systems between two countries were linked for the first time, allowing real-time, uninterrupted transmission of Hallyu contents overseas. Once gigabyte internet becomes the standard, the government plans to work on commercializing 5G technology, featuring internet speeds that are 100 times faster than what we have today. A human-sized robot is talking about the future job prospects. Using natural hand gestures, the robot asks questions to the participants. There are predictions that in 30 years, robots will take over 60 to 70 percent of jobs currently done by humans.
The participants all agree that this shift has already begun. Many agree that the service industry will be the first to see robots replace humans. There are predictions that the appearance of unmanned drones would reduce the number of package delivery men, taxis and freight transport drivers, and that robots would replace telemarketers and customer service representatives. The important thing is that robots will be able to see what will happen with the robots. This event titled Next Generation Open Forum 2045 and hosted by KAIST's Moon Seoul Graduate School of Future Strategy will take place in other cities including Busan and Gwangju. A man selects a dish on a touchscreen, grandma's spaghetti. In response, a robot, not a person, begins cooking. The robot cooks the noodles and makes the sauce, just like an actual chef. Even a French-style crab soup is done in 30 minutes. The robot perfectly imitates the actions of a famous chef. Motion capture because you, you track your fingers' position and understand how the hands move. And in this case, you save these trajectories in the computer and trace it and after transfer these trajectories for the robotic script to operate the robotic hand. Robot chefs have the advantage of being able to quickly make even complex dishes one after another. However, they have their own limits as humans are still the ones coming up with new flavors and dishes. 맛도 그냥 맛이 아니라 깊은 맛. 된장 같으면 숙성 됐나 안 됐나. 3년 되는 된장하고 5년 되는 된장하고 그 로봇은 로보스, 분별해 줄수 있느냐. Robots are now appearing in kitchens. Perhaps soon, the saying that every dish has a personal touch might change to even taste is technology. the past would have thought that robots would be cooking in the kitchen. Here in Korea, personal broadcasts of eating and cooking are all the rage these days. Given the rate at which these robots are developing, we may even see robot chefs taking the spotlight on these channels. Let's now go to Tech a Peek and see what other emerging technologies can make our lives better. At zero degrees Celsius, water freezes and becomes ice. That is why we witness frozen rivers, hail, and frost. However, Korean researchers have discovered a property of water that shows how water does not freeze even at 150 degrees Celsius. Water was placed in a fine plastic container and was frozen at negative 190 degrees Celsius after the inner pressure was raised. Subsequently, fractures started to appear in the solid state. At this point, the temperature was slowly raised to negative 120 degrees Celsius, and researchers discovered that these cracks disappeared at negative 150 degrees Celsius. The ice structure changed due to high pressure, leading to the phenomenon of water remaining in liquid state at negative 150 degrees Celsius. Researchers hope that their findings can be applied to weather forecasting or development of new drugs. The results were published in the September issue of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, an established journal for natural sciences. Botox is often used to smooth out wrinkles and comes in the form of a neurotoxic protein from the botulinum bacterium. When used in cosmetic surgery, this toxin temporarily paralyzes muscles. It is so potent that it is used only in trace amounts. 
The toxicity of botulinum toxin is well known. One tablespoon's worth of the toxin can kill more than 10 million people, and it is one trillion times more toxic than cobra venom, and 100,000 times more than bacillus anthracis. Using botulinum toxin in a terrorist attack can result in an unimaginable number of casualties. However, a U.S.-based Korean scientific team came up with a new way to prevent the absorption of botulinum toxin. The lactulose in boiled milk can stop the absorption of the toxin and force it out of the body. Most of the lab mice survived after being administered either the toxin first allowed by lactulose or both the toxin and lactulose together. The researchers said that if botulinum toxin terrorism ever occurred, people can save themselves by drinking boiled milk. The results of this experiment were published in the scientific journal Toxicon, setting the stage for new uses of milk. Development for a Parkinson's disease drug candidate has kicked off. The Ministry of Science ICT and Future Planning announced that a Parkinson's disease drug candidate jointly developed by Chungnam National University and the Korea Research Institute of Chemical Technology was handed over to medicine manufacturer Kanos Medicine. This drug stops the death of cells that emit dopamine, a root cause of Parkinson's disease. And if this treatment is given the green light, patients will be able to tackle the disease at the source instead of minimizing symptoms. Current medications for the disease provide additional dopamine to patients, minimizing symptoms but not curing the disease altogether. Should clinical testing succeed and the new drug prove itself effective and safe, the ministry predicts that it will not only satiate demands for Parkinson's disease treatment, but also create a large ripple effect, changing treatment regimens, and creating a new market. The invisibility cloak is a common feature of science fiction and fantasy. It works by bending light around the object, making the object invisible to the eye. A ball on a flat surface reflects light into our eyes. However, when the ball is covered by an invisibility cloak, the floor around the ball reflects light into our eyes. As a result, we cannot see the ball, only the floor. U.S. researchers created an 80 nanometer thick invisibility cloak that has such properties. This material covered an object shaped like a number 11 that was mere micrometers big. The object disappeared and then reappeared. Meta surface를 만들었는데 그 meta surface에 나노 안테나가 있어서 마치 그 빛이 이 위쪽 표면에서 부딪히는 게 아니고 아래쪽 반사면에서 부딪히는 것과 같은 착각을 주도록 경로차를 만들어주는 그러한 스킨을 만들었습니다. This may only be the beginning, but the team predicts that this technology can be applied to objects that are big enough to be seen with the naked eye. It really is exciting that invisibility cloaks, something only seen in stories or movies, are shaping into reality. If you could get your hand on an invisibility cloak, what is the first thing you would do with it? This concludes today's episode of Infoscope. Be sure to tune in next week to discover more useful information. See you all next week. Bye!